Thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob. Exalt at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprung up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him all on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate a Mission Sunday. Very often, when we hear the word mission, we think about third world countries. But the missionary work is of nature of the church. We are all missionaries, and our task is uh, proclaiming Jesus Christ. But you may ask them how to be missionary, especially today. The answer we can find in, in one of the Gospels. There is a beautiful story in one of the Gospels where when the first disciples met with Jesus, they came back to others and they said that they found Christ. So the other disciples asked them, tell us about him. And what those first disciples said is crucial. They said, come and see. They didn't try to describe Jesus. They didn't try to describe their encounter with Jesus. They just simply said, come and see. And this is how we should proclaim Christ. Because my encounter with Jesus might be completely different than yours. My spiritual life could be completely different than yours. The church is so rich that everyone can see something for yourself. So our missionary work should be based on invitation. Invitation to those whom we meet in our lives. And just simply say to them, come and see. Because a big mistake on our side is to try to explain who Christ is. Trying to explain many rules and regulations in the church. And by doing that, we may scare people. But when we're going to say, come and see, they can come and see. 
and you choose what is fitting their stage of life. So today as we celebrate Missionary Sunday, I would like to ask you something. This coming week, please try to be a missionary. Maybe you have a neighbor who is not going to the church. Maybe there is a new family in your neighborhood. Please try to approach them. Try to invite them. And just simply say, come and see. Come and see what St. Zachary is about. Maybe by this simple invitation, they gonna find, they gonna find Christ. This is our job. Each of us should be missionary every single day. And by spreading the nature of the church, which is mission-based nature, we are doing what we are called for. We are called for spreading good news, good news of love and salvation.
Thomas R. Rasman, Mary C. Novini, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, hear the prayers we offer this day. Listen to our cries and the cries of our sisters and brothers around the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our second collection today is for the mission around the world. Thank you in advance for your generosity. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Savior,